I have wanted to make this video for a very long time. I teach German at a high school in the United States, and every year there are certain words that the students come across that they have to pause for a moment before they have to say it. These are some of my favorite words in German that sound dirty to English speakers, but actually aren't. Let's start with the mild ones. Fahrt is not fart. Wie kommen wir zum Zoo? Fahrt durch den Park. How is that going to help? My flatulence isn't going to get me to the zoo. There are a ton of words in German that have fahrt in them. The first time that my students encounter this is when we learn the conjugation of the verb fahren. It gets even worse, though, whenever we get to the imperative form and we give example sentences of fahrt durch den Park. Tee, <laughs> he said fahrt. It isn't just the ear form of the verb, however. Einfahrt, entrance. Ausfahrt, exit. Schifffahrt, cruise. Gute Fahrt, have a nice trip. Sex is not sex. What is between vier and sechs, Mr. Freud? Fünf. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs. Sechsundsechzig. Sechshundertsechsundsechzig. Sechstausendsechshundertsechsundsechzig. There is so much sex in German. You can't even count to ten in German without it becoming sexy. Der Krapfen is not crap. Was ist du da? Krapfen? Ist das wirklich so schlecht? Krapfen? From fornication to defecation, this video has it all. This jelly-filled donut is called different names in different places, but my personal favorite is Krapfen for obvious reasons. Der Schlitten, der Schlittschuh, der Schritt, das Schrittchen. None of those words are sh Was magst du da? Ich sitze in einem Schlitten. Was magst du danach? Ich laufe Schlittschuh. Wie macht man das? Einfach ein Schritt nach dem anderen. Wenn man muss, kann man Schrittchen machen. Dann geht man langsamer. Schlitten, Schlittschuh, Schritt und Schrittchen? I feel like you're trying to say something without really saying something. There are a lot of words in German that are just one letter away from being all around crappy words. These are just a few of them, but there are a ton of other ones. Schlitten is a sled or sleigh. Don't forget the L. Schlitten. What happens if you're a dog owner and you don't watch your step in your backyard? Schlittschuh. In German, however, this is an ice skate. Once you have literally stepped in it in the backyard, every step that you take is a Schritt. But in German, all steps are Schritte. You can even take a little step and call it a Schrittchen, which sounds like you're taking a little bitty baby poop. Damit. Not damn it. Hey, was magst du mit dem Kuli? Ich schreibe damit. Whoa. No need to get angry about it, I was just asking a simple question. No, damit means with that or with it. Der Koch. Not a nickname for a rooster, among other things. Mein Koch ist in der Küche. What? How did you even detach it? You know what? I don't even want to know. Mein Koch is my cook. My cook is in the kitchen. What I find most entertaining about this word is that there are families in America with the last name Koch, and every American who has ever encountered this name has the internal struggle of, how do I say this name? I usually go with the German pronunciation, but you'll sometimes hear people pronounce it as Koch. Even some people with the last name who have this last name pronounce it like this. I find it even weirder, however, that some people with this last name pronounce it as Cook, which would be the translation of the name, but not how anyone paying any attention to the word would actually pronounce it. Die Mannschaft. Not a manshaft. Ich spiele jeden Tag mit meiner Mannschaft. Ew. Gross. I did not need to know that. What? How else are we going to make it to the championship? We have to practice. Keeping with the phallic direction of this video, the word Mannschaft always gets a few giggles in German class. The fact that this is a feminine noun also gets a few side glances amongst friends. Dick. Yet another phallic word. Du bist dick. What did you call me? Fat. What? I thought you said dick. Yep. Dick is fat. TMI, dude. TMI. This one made me laugh the first time that I was in Germany. I was in KDW in Berlin and saw a shelf full of packages labeled with Super Dickmans. I thought it was the weirdest name for a superhero ever. Then last year, the internet introduced me to the show from Denmark called John Dillerman. These two things are not related. Dick is just the German word for fat. Die Dickmilch. Wait, what kind of milk? Blech. Das ist Dickmilch. 
What kind of milk is that? Where would you even buy that? Dick milk isn't milk that you drink. It's milk that has been fermented. Why is it called dick milk? I just told you that dick means fat. It also happens to mean thick. When milk ferments, it gets thick. Dick milk just describes what it is. Thick milk. Das ass and the verb ass. Neither of them are ass. Was hat er gemacht? Er aß ein Ass. Er aß ein Ass? The past tense of the verb essen is aß. The playing card with the A on it is also called aß. Now the next time that you're playing poker and you just need an ace to finish your full house, you can say Komm schon, zeig mir das aß. Das Fach. Die Fächer. Neither of them are Fach. Ich hasse dieses Fach. Und das ist ein Fakt. Fach? Fakt? Are you even allowed to say that in school? Sure, there are lots of Fächer in school. And without Fakten, the whole system falls apart. Der Fakt. Die Fakten. Again, not F. I'll take four letter F words for 400, Alex. Okay, Mr. Connery, the answer is a subject in a German school. Fach. You need to phrase that in the form of a question. That's not what your mother said last night. Whatever, let's just go on to the next question. The answer is the German opposite of the falsehood. WTF? Could you repeat your answer, Mr. Connery? I don't think I heard that right. WTF? What's the fact? The fact is the German opposite of a falsehood. My students never have a problem remembering the German word for a subject. Fach is a difficult word to forget. One that sounds even closer to the dirtiest of all dirty words is Fakt. Try saying the following three times fast. Fach, Fakt, Fächer, Fakten, Fach, Fakt, Fächer, Fakten, Fach, Fakt, Fächer, Fakten. Der Muckefuck. I know how to read, I see it. Dieser Kaffee schmeckt mir gar nicht. Das ist kein Kaffee. Das ist Muckefuck. What did you call me? No, the drink. It's called Muckefuck. It isn't real coffee. It's a coffee substitute made from barley malt. Apparently, it was pretty popular in East Germany and was considered like kids' coffee because it didn't have any caffeine. Honestly, if someone tries to replace my coffee with a decaffeinated coffee substitute, you might hear me say Muckefuck too. I had a ton of fun making this video. I hope that you had fun while watching it. Now it's your turn. What are your favorite German words that sound dirty but aren't? Write them in the comments down below. Das ist alles für heute. Danke fürs Zuschauen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss!